Welcome back to the shop. Today I am going to be building a rack for our cast iron cookware. Yesterday I went ahead and I've made this a uh, zero clearance insert for the shopsmith for the dado stack that I want to use for this project. Uh, in the past we have had just a pegboard on the wall with uh, little hooks holding up all of our pots and pans. Uh, my plan for this rack, I'm going to be using pallet wood. I uh, have some of uh, these S-hooks and I'm going to try my hand at making them black without painting. I have some black pipe I'll be using for the lids to hold the lids up. And uh, kind of excited to get this going. We've been wanting to get this done for a while and uh, it's time. Here's the wood I'll be using. I believe it is maple. Not quite sure, but if I don't have enough, I have a few more pallets over here. I don't know my wood that well, but this stack here to me seemed like it was more like pine, where this stack over here seemed to be more hardwood like maple or oak. The uh, zero insert that I made uh, is the same type of wood that came out of this stack over here, which is what I plan on using today. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sand the, the, the wood down and remove all of the nails. When I disassembled the pallets, I just cut uh, between the planks and just cut the nails. So that'll be my first step. I have 14 pieces of, actually I think I have 15 pieces of wood here. I think I only need 14 for the project. And so, and I'm gonna cut them after that, I'll cut them down to three inches wide. Okay, so I've got uh, 14 pallet planks. I've got them jointed on two sides. Uh, my next step is going to be, make them all three inches. And then I'm going to put a dado in the back. I was going to use the table saw with my dado stack, but I think I'm going to scratch that idea. I don't have a surface planer, so I'm, um, all my pieces of wood are different thicknesses. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a router to make my dado. But That'll be for tomorrow. Alright, so I've got all my wood uh, to the right dimension. We have it now cut down to three inches, is how wide I want the planks to be. And the piece that's going to hold them all together is uh, one and a half inches. And my next step is I'm going to build a dado, uh, dado jig so I can put a dado in the back for these to be secured into. Ready to do that? Yes. All right. Uh, Push the button on the back. Back? My two? Yep. Here is the dado jig I built for the router. Since all my pieces of wood are different thicknesses, I uh, would push the piece of wood in all the way to my 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 block here and against the side and I would push it down and then I would rat out the little dado. Um, the reason I did that 
I wanted this thickness here to be the same on all the planks. As you can see on this one here, it's pretty shallow. But at least I have someplace flat and smooth to glue to. Uh, my reasoning for wanting these to be the same thickness on all the planks is when I do glue it up, I want them all to stick out the same distance. I don't want it to be, um, I want it to be uniform. So when our, our pots will be hanging on them instead of rusting against some of them and maybe airborne against some of the others. If that makes any sense. Well, I've got it ready for stain. And uh, this is what it kind of looks like so far. And I'm going to go ahead and put The lighting's not good over here. But this is what type of stain I'm going to be putting on it. Uh, my wife and I have already tested on a piece of wood. Uh, and uh, we like the way this looks compared to the other one we bought. So I'm going to get to it. I just got done wiping off the second coat of stain. It's pretty awesome. It's turned out real nice. Still not quite sure what type of wood it is. I'm thinking it's oak. There's a walk around. Let this uh, dry and I'll go ahead and wipe it down or put a coat of poly on it tomorrow. All right, so I've got my uh, four French pleats up. Got one here, here, one here, and one down here. Uh, now it's time to put the rack on. Let's go ahead and get that done. worried about putting all the cast iron on there. Next step I still have to do is uh, put the hooks on and put the, the lid rack on and we'll call it done. Okay so I've got my forge running I'm trying to get the some really nice hot coals. Uh, I've got these zinc plated S hooks. I'm going to bend them Kind of like that. Then I'm going to heat them up in the forge to real hot. Then I got some oil down here. I'm going to dip them in the oil and hoping that they turn black. Uh, we're going to have to experiment a little bit more and see if I can get them blacker, but that's pretty good. And uh, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, so here's the S hook. And this is kind of just a little jerry rigging it. I just got a deep socket and then as you can see I'm putting it in here and I just pull it down a little bit and keep on looking and make sure it's about where I want it. And where it's, when it's where I want it I just turn it over do it again. and do it again. Then I grab the next one and do it again. So I got two S hooks on there. I'm gonna try three. Let's try, let's try four of them on there one time. See what happens. Kind of like roasted marshmallows. So, um, I'm just using regular old motor oil. Uh, actually, it's not old, it's new. 
but uh, as you say, unused. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna go get some more done. I'm just gonna leave these in the oil to cool off. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit about my forge. This is a brake drum forge. I actually picked it up when we were in Kansas. I traded some uh, gentleman a whole bunch of fishing gear that I had uh, for it. Uh, he, he said his his father had made it and used it all the time. So and I've used it a couple times, but mainly just to warm up the garage when I was out there last winter. Um, the hair dryer is bought at Value Village, and this uh, radiator hose came off of a off of uh, an engine that I that I bought for the uh, Suburban when I rebuilt the engine. It is jerry rigged for right now. I do plan on um, coming up with a better system, uh, mainly because the hose did catch on fire, uh, and it is you know it is kind of jerry rigged together. So, um, but that's my forge. I also have an anvil. There's a story behind that one too. Uh, I picked that up uh, out of the trash. My, uh, we went to my best friend's house in Kansas City uh, for New Year's Eve party, and the next morning we stayed the night. The next morning, as we're leaving, I noticed a uh, table saw in the trash and so I stopped and picked it up when I saw that I also saw the end when I picked it up so that's the story behind that all right so here's the can that I'm using I just like I said just use some motor oil um, looks pretty good I don't know what it's gonna like I'm, I'm sure there might be some type of debris soot something on there so I'm gonna go ahead and get them out of here and cleaned up and uh, take them in the house and, and use them for the cast iron. I guess I should probably look at them before I take them in. Actually, well they look good. Um, well, I didn't think of like put, maybe put them in some water. Yeah. Like put them in water because if there is some stuff on it, it will clean it off. Yeah, they are still kind of warm. Yeah, I mean, they're not shiny like they were before, so it's really nice. Our cast iron isn't shiny anyways. No. So, yeah, they're looking good. Wow, yeah. They're not black. I mean, a little bit. Some of them, maybe I don't know if I didn't get it hot enough. Maybe it was too hot. But they're not shiny anymore, which is what we wanted. All right. So, we we'll take care of this fire here and uh, get these things inside and we'll meet you back in there. This is the way I designed the hooks to work. Slide them in sideways and twist them. And that way we can take our cast iron pot and hang it on there like that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hang up all our pots we have and uh, we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Well there we go. That's all of our cast iron uh, other than this one pan that we use basically every single day. The only time we'll probably ever go up on the rack would be when we're on vacation. Uh, we do have one lid and we do plan on getting some more. Um, now, as a wife is looking at this, she, she doesn't really care for the way it looks um, because she says it looks like a like like the wall smiling at her. So uh, we'll probably rearrange it. I mean, in the in the long run, we will anyways because to hold our lid up, we want to put this up top. But I need to cut it because it's too wide for my liking. So we'll be rearranging everything as it is when we go to put this up, but I just have to get cut and then we thread it. Alright, so I finally got my black pipe cut and I've blackened some screws. So now I'm going to drill some holes 
and uh, put this bar up and call this project complete. Well, there it is. It's complete. It looks pretty good, too. Plenty of getting some more lids. This is our 8 inch. Plenty of getting a 10 inch and a 12 inch. Should be plenty of room for them to fit up there. I'll stick back and have you guys take a peek at it. Thanks so much for stopping by today. If you're not a subscriber yet and you like what you've seen here today, it's a great time for you to hit the subscribe button. Leave us a question or a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, thanks so much for stopping by.